fstoppers.com has teamed up with Mike Kelly to produce Where Art Meets Architecture 2. It covers everything you need to know about photographing and editing luxury properties, and this is the behind-the-scenes series. To learn more about the full tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. David and I are heading into town. We have to return the Mustang that we didn't even use. While we're out, we're gonna go play a little poker. Let's go see if we can win some money. I can't tell if this place is like super cool because it's like retro looking or if it's just super crappy because they never updated it. I think it's probably the latter. <laughs> So that ended up being a very beneficial yeah, time. Good. Good I, I didn't win much. I might have won like 70 bucks, but I only bought him for 80. You won like won 600 bucks, 700 bucks? Uh, 680. Hell yeah. So right now is the perfect time to be shooting a Twilight. The exterior ambient has fallen to match the interior ambient. We have that warm, glowy interior and the beautiful blue exterior and the sea of city lights underneath us. It's an awesome picture, right? I'm looking at this and I thought it would be cool to get a little human element in here. So again, I'm having our assistant slash model David stand in for us. And I've had him stand there and admire the view as if he was the homeowner or something checking out the city. So I'm gonna do a few shots with David in the scene and see how they look. So we've just been told that you're not allowed to have fires here. It's one of the house rules. <laughs> what are you making for us tonight? I'm gonna make the best steak you've ever had. The best steak I've ever had. The best steak you've ever had. You. I'm not gonna be too hard. I'm not gonna be too easy. I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Are you ready? That's really good. However, I think I think it needs that salty, crusty outside. It does. Like I don't taste much salt at all. You like the you like the salty, crusty outside? Yeah. Feed Patrick. There we go. It's cooked really, really well. I could go a little more pepper, a little more salt. Yeah. A little more sear. Yeah. Am, I, am I already ruining this? I, I think that is one of the best steaks I've tried in my life. This? Yeah. What? I'm not being mean. It's good. It's a good steak. It's one of the best homemade steaks I've had. That's a fair review. I like that we're eating amazing steak in an $8 million house. With knives like these and wine and dixie. So last night when we were filming, once again, we had microphone trouble. Everything was going wrong yesterday because the cables are actually breaking. See, this is tape that we've taped on here because we know this is a weak point. It slid up like it always does and then this broke. Testing, 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 nothing. If you adjust the mic thing. I like the way that the Rode mics sound. They sound better than the Sennheisers, and I like all of these little add-ons that they have uh, for wind and stuff. But they break on us like every few months. We are in LA. They should have plenty of mics. More there. mics here if we need them. So we are currently going to Sammy's Camera here in uh, LA to buy new mic cables. Patrick reminded me that they were all relatively new. How old are those cables? I bought all three of those in December, at the end of December for Joey's tutorial. They're like four months old and they're already ripping apart. I don't understand. And the Sennheiser ones that it came with that we used for years and years and years, 
never once have they ripped at all. So I, I, I understand that we're a little rough with our gear, but like, we're not that rough. This girl looks familiar. All of this Think Tank stuff. I don't own any of this, I'll be honest with you. But these right here, Airport Express roller bags, these are the absolute best bags you could carry around. And then we travel with uh, these too, these are really good, the, uh, the Manager Series. That's the cable. That's the, uh, do you have any more of these? No. Just the one. Just one. <laughs> That'll probably work like a week, maybe. Thirty-eight dollars for a freaking cable. Have you flown our drone before? I don't think I have. Okay, there's a reason for that. You just crashed in the simulator. Oh, solo collide. All right, you're done. Right. Let me show you how Master does this real quick. Dude, look at me figure eight in these trees, David. I'm making you look foolish. Oh. We'll just edit. We'll edit before that. <laughs> This is where Mike Kelly lives. We're meeting with him. I'm very excited to see what $3,300 a month gets you. I'd like to see that too. This is cool, you have little fruit trees here. Yeah, we got orange trees growing. This is part of your monthly payment, goes to these fountains. Everyone else around the world <laughs> who's going to see this is going to be so distraught when they, when they see what a LA apartment, a fancy LA apartment looks like. I think, maybe it's gonna be amazing. Don't, don't, don't tell me where I live. No identifying. I already, I already showed the front of the building and now we're gonna show your number. I won't show where you live. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So is this a one bedroom apartment? And then if you go upstairs, yeah. It's a one bedroom apartment? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is kind of a bedroom, or you know. Here it is, in all of its high res glory. What is the name of this again? Terminal velocity or something? Tur if I didn't know better, I would think that you're a aerial photographer. So it's our last day in LA and Lee had the perfect thing to do. What's the activity for this afternoon? Hollywood Walk of Shame. We're here on the Hollywood Walk of the Stars and it is madness out here. We have more Spider-Mans than we know what to do with. Some of the Spider-Mans are in better shape than others. Is at the Walk of Fame here, and I found the best star. I don't know if you can see that. Donald Trump has his own star. I found my new pajamas. How much do you think that costs? It's probably like twelve hundred for the full whole thing. That is twelve hundred dollars. Are you out of your mind? Seems reasonable. I, be, I bet you. I bet you this is like eight thousand dollars. Oh, you think? Yeah. Go go in and just figure out how much it like. I'm sure. How much is the suit in the front? Yeah. This is Gucci. So here we are on Rodeo Drive, surrounded by all the Hummers and Lamborghinis and Porsches. Kind of a crazy street out here, and we're basically just doing some time lapse action. Got the Firecrest neutral density filter on here. This allows us to get really long shutter speeds in pretty bright daylight. So it's kind of blue hour now and our time lapses are getting way, way cooler. Long shutters give us these nice cool streaky lines. Got the Beverly Hills Drive. Coming. Good. Any interesting experiences? A few people ask me what am I doing. Yeah. I just started saying uh, I'm shooting a, a new pilot show for Netflix. 
they're like, oh, Netflix, that's cool. I was just shooting the light like that was hitting the top of this building, and they were like, what's going on over there? I didn't even realize there's like a roped off area, there's like a private event or whatever. I told them I was like, Brad Pitt is in that building over there, and they were like, oh. Mom, did you hear that? It was like a big group of people, and then they all so off. They started taking pictures of the building and like putting it up on Twitter and Facebook. Oh my God, Brad Pitt's in this building. I don't even know what's going on over Meanwhile, there. Meanwhile, you search Brad Pitt on Twitter, and he's like in Africa. Yeah, I'm a bad person, but you should have seen how much joy it brought them. They were really happy. Joy. Yeah. That night, we decided to go racing one more time. You talked a lot of trash lot when, of when we were with Pi. <laughs> I'd get out on that track right now. Well, let's see how you do. Wait till you see my name come up. I made it just for you. <laughs> I am in front of all of you. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Fortis, number two. I'm Fortis. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> what the heck, guys? Who oh, T-boned me? I think it was you. Hey, I could have it. Patrick, right into me. No, I I Patrick, Patrick, Patrick was the one. I couldn't breathe for like three laps. Yeah. I think you <laughs> spun him out and then I just went bam. Oh, I got on the top ten. Uh, you got the best time of the week. <laughs> Let's go through everybody's best lap. My best lap was 21.252 seconds. Your best lap was 21.240. Mike, what's your best lap? 21.4. That was the last Oh thing. man, that's pretty slow. Who is the best and the worst? Like, we all know that Patrick's the worst. <laughs> that's fine. Um, but Matt, who- I think, I think- I think David- Mike, Mike was clearly the best the first first round but then apparently Mike. he got an injury. Mike got, <laughs> Mike got hurt during his race and sat out for like a lap. Yeah, you can see my lap, it goes through the roof literally the time, <laughs> just like off the paper. You right. got the fastest so, time around the track today though. So right? David um, is the um, best That's a little and then who's second and who's third? It's, I mean... When the cameras stopped rolling, Mike finally admitted that I was the superior driver. The next day, we got all packed up and ready to go to our next destination, Hawaii. What's wrong with you? I can't lift anything. I either broke or bruised the rib. Yeah, I can sleep. What do you have to say? You like, you were so happy that you <laughs> rammed him. I think you spun him out and then I just went bam. <laughs> My brakes didn't work. I tried to hit the brakes, but there, there Mike was. Bam! I almost went to the hospital, but I was like, I'll do it when I'm in Hawaii, because it would be way less stressful. Well, you realize, even if you have broken ribs, there's nothing, there's nothing they can, can do. do. I can't, I literally cannot pick something up with this arm. <laughs> like, this is it. Like, I can't lift it above my shoulder. Well, Patrick's gonna carry your gear for the rest of the trip. <laughs> To learn more about this full tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store and stay tuned for next week's episode when we fly to Hawaii and move into our incredible new home. <laughs>